Good evening, I'm Olivia Simone, bringing you this week's weekend update. AP exams started this week and will continue through next week. For students with upcoming exams, AP Classroom has put out review videos by Mason Lergero and Chad Smith. Chad Smith has an important message to share with everyone. Let's check it out. Um, if you're anything like me, you've had a great day because Beyonce released new music! So, um, I mean, a song, but still, what a song! Um, I've only listened to it like 25 to 30 times so far, so I don't really feel like I know the song the way I'd like to. Um, but yes, check it out if you haven't already. It's called The Savage Remix with Megan Thee Stallion, but it does not feel like a remix at all because it's basically like a totally new song. So go check it out. If only he spoke that passionately when talking about history. College and high school students certainly have it tough trying to graduate from school but no one has it as tough as this little girl who can't even get through her math homework. Here she is. It says, Lennox buys satin and purple shirt. She also buys ten briefcase. And, and the question is, how many apples does she buy? It, it, there is no apple. It's about freaking shirts. Next time you think you have it rough, just be thankful you're not in a situation as bad as hers. This week, the White House has enforced safety regulations requiring staff to wear masks. Of course, the president has excused himself from these guidelines for health, or not for health, for fashion reasons, saying the masks will make him look bad. As you can see in this picture, the president confu is looking confused as to why anyone would wear such a thing. Mr. President, you never fail to amaze us. School counselors have announced that next year's schedules for the 2020-2021 school year will be released on Friday, May 15th. I hate to break it to them, but there will be no 2020-2021 school year. 2020 is never going to end. Before we go, here's this week's health hero. Margaret Simone has been sewing masks for the hospitals, friends, and for families. All the masks are handmade with a large variety of fabrics, which Margaret says she hopes will brighten the patients and workers' days. Margaret, thank you for all of your hard work. That just about sums it up for this week's weekend update. I'll see you next time.